As soon as we start using Kubernetes, we want the ability to troubleshoot. We want the ability to see what's happening in our environment, both from a cluster perspective and from a pod and application stack perspective. In this video, we're gonna see four commands that we can use to make our lives a little bit easier with Kubernetes when it comes to troubleshooting. All right, the first command is the top command. So if we run kubectl top, we can see it displays a CPU and memory usage. So resource optimization, essentially, that's what we're gonna be thinking about with this command. And we have two options, node and pod. So we can see the CPU and memory, the resource optimization for both node and pod. So let's do kubectl top node. All right, and we can see CPU, percentage used, memory, memory used. We run the same thing for pod, okay? Nothing's running at the moment, so let's go ahead and actually run something. So maybe, for example, we have a stateful set here. We'll go ahead and we'll run that. kubectl apply minus f dot yaml. All right, kubectl get pods, watch. So now let's run kubectl top pods. Oh, metric is not available yet. All right, and I just had to run that again because uh, the, the metrics weren't available and that's because there's a metrics endpoint for your controllers, right? For your objects and your resources. So in this case, the metrics endpoint for the pods that we were deploying wasn't available because the pods were still coming up, but now we're good to go. All right, next thing is logs. So kubectl logs and then Say for example, we run it against this pod, right? We can see all the logs that have occurred for our pod, right? So of course, this is great from a troubleshooting perspective and just to make sure everything's kind of up and running. Now, the other thing that we can do is we could do kubectl events, okay? And we can see all of the events that are occurring for the cluster, which if you're troubleshooting anything from a worker node perspective or even a control plane perspective, if you're on-prem, this is obviously incredibly helpful here, okay? And then last but not least is the describe commands. So, well actually, hold on, kubectl events, let's see, okay, nope, same thing. All right, I just wanted to see if I targeted another object, but never mind. And then the next thing is kubectl describe, right? So we can do a describe against, you know, for example, kubectl, it's stateful sets, kubectl describe nginx deployment. Oop, stateful set. Okay, so now we can see if any events occurred, we'll see them there all of the information around what's running. So the status, the update strategy, the name, the namespace, the data was created. We kind of get, you know, the verbose output when we run the describe here, right? And those are a few tools that you can use to troubleshoot and fully understand your environment from both the cluster perspective and the pod perspective.